jacked about this. Let's go check it out. Could be filming with it in 2023. Boom, small rig. So I heard about this on a couple forums and I texted a buddy of mine, Parker, uh, who runs the Southern Ground YouTube and podcast and wanted his two cents because he's a guy I believe with uh, gear advice. Like I, I trust what he says, just he does a lot what I do. And he gave me the, the nod of approval. And this is the small rig fluid head. Very tiny, even a smaller handle. And I'm looking to run this, maybe not on my Sony a7 III, but on my smaller cameras. I wonder if it can hold up. Boom, eight ounces. I have this guy, the Manfrotto, let me get my light on it. The Manfrotto B Free, which is great. Like this is probably the best small light head for, uh, I'm gonna call it main DSLR cameras. Uh, with a variety of lenses like this does a really good job for the size it weighs about a pound The reason I'm doing this is I'm wanting to get an even smaller profile package as far as filming is concerned I did not shoot anything on video last year. So Shooting deer is top priority this year and maybe I'm gonna dial back my filming setup Because I'm going Comanche mode I think in October as far as like ultralight very minimalist and so yeah, I might ditch this guy I have actually even thought about going a one arm segment and just running this and, and then my POV would be on my bow and if I can't stretch around the tree, well, the shot's gonna be on my POV cam. Um, just some thoughts I had. This thing's kind of starting to impress me already actually. On the like tab guy that goes into your camera, they got like the fold out that allows you to crank. I'm not sure how well that's getting picked up. There we go. That allows you to crank it. But they also stashed a little mini Allen key in there, which I'll give them credit. Like I'm not gonna hunt like that, but uh, some innovation as far as packability. Literally, it slides right in the back. A little magnet to hold it in place. I mean, sweet. There's a bubble level on it, which could be nice if your camera arm does not have a bubble level. This thing was 50 bucks. I will link it below. Guys, if you're interested in self-filming, I do have a solo filming production course. And if you're looking to increase the learning curve, you can check that out on my Patreon. Good luck in the woods. Turkey season is about wrapped up here, but uh, onward to whitetails.